Welcome to pre-math. In this video we have got this uh, triangle uh, ABC along with these uh, two angle bisectors uh, CD and uh, CE as you can see in this uh, diagram and as a result we get uh, three triangles the yellow one, the blue one and the green one and moreover uh, these angles are congruent in other words, uh, each of these uh, angles uh, is alpha. And furthermore, uh, this segment uh, EB is uh, 15 units. This segment uh, DE is uh, 20. And the segment uh, AD is uh, represented by X. And now our task is uh, to calculate the value of uh, X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, concepts. And now let's recall the angle bisector theorem as you can see in this given uh, triangle. And here this segment is our uh, angle bisector. As a result, we get these uh, two congruent angles uh, alpha and alpha. Let's assume that this uh, side length is uh, A. This side length is B, whereas this segment uh, is represented by C and this uh, segment is represented by lowercase d. Then according to this uh, given uh, theorem, we can write this thing uh, ratio of A and B equals to the ratio of uh, C and D. In other words, A divided by B equals to C divided by D and we are going to use this concept in solving this given uh, problem. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, AEC along with this uh, angle bisector CD. And as a result, we got these uh, two congruent angles uh, alpha and alpha. Now let's assume that this side length uh, is lowercase a and this side length uh, CE is lowercase uh, b. And now let's recall once again the angle bisector theorem. Here we got our side lengths uh, A and uh, B where this segment uh, AD is uh, X and this segment uh, DE is uh, 20 units. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, given uh, equation. We got uh, A divided by B is going to be equal to X uh, divided by let me go ahead and call this our equation uh, number one and now let's make an observation in the previous step uh, we use this uh, CD as our angle uh, bisector and we are going to use uh, angle bisector theorem uh, once again so therefore our next choice is uh, to make this uh, CE as our uh, angle bisector and we need to involve this uh, yellow triangle as well since we need to find the value of uh, x. However, we have a one uh, dilemma. If we make this uh, CE as our angle uh, bisector, then uh, this uh, whole angle is going to be 2 alpha. However, this angle is going to be just simply alpha. And these angles are not congruent. This angle is alpha and this is 2 alpha. And now we are going to think uh, outside the box and we are going to draw some uh, auxiliary lines. So therefore we have drawn this uh, triangle uh, BCF that is congruent to this uh, triangle uh, BCE. In other words, uh, these uh, triangles are uh, symmetric. If this angle is alpha, then uh, this angle has got to be alpha as well. If this side length uh, is lowercase b, then this side length uh, has got to be b as well. And finally, this uh, segment uh, BF uh, is going to be 15 uh, units uh, as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, big uh, triangle uh, AFC. And we are going to use the angle bisector theorem uh, on this uh, triangle uh, as well. And now let's assume that this uh, segment uh, CE is uh, our angle bisector. So that means uh, this angle alpha plus alpha is going to be 2 alpha and likewise uh, these angles alpha plus alpha is going to be 2 alpha as well. These side lengths are A and uh, B and moreover let's focus on this uh, whole uh, 
segment A E is going to be x plus 20. So this segment is going to be x plus 20. Whereas this segment E F is going to be 15 plus 15 is going to give us 30. And now we are going to fill in this given formula. We are going to write down A divided by B equal to our C value is X plus 20 divided by our D value is 30. So let me write down divided by 30. Let me call this our equation number 2. So therefore we are ended up with these two equations, equation 1 and 2. And now let's go ahead and compare these two equations. We can see the left hand sides are identical. So therefore we can equate the right hand sides as well. So therefore we can write x divided by 20 equals to x plus 20 divided by 30. And now we are ended up with this proportion x divided by 20 equals to x plus 20 divided by 30. And now we are going to solve these uh, fractions for uh, x value. So therefore let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply. So let's multiply this way first. That is going to give us uh, 30x equals to. And if we multiply the other way around that is going to give us uh, 20 times uh, x uh, plus 20 times 20 is going to give us uh, 400. And now let's go ahead and subtract 20x from both sides of these equations. And we can see here 20x and negative 20x, they are gone. So therefore, we are ended up with 30x minus 20x is going to give us 10x equals to 400. Let's divide both sides by 10 to isolate x. So therefore we are going to get uh, x value equals to 40 units. So therefore our this uh, AD length uh, which is represented by x and we figured out our x value as 40 units. So therefore uh, this side length turns out to be 40 units. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations our uh, x value turns out to be 40 units and that's our final uh, answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye